different branch of science is beginning to provide very surprising answers. To find out more, I've come to Cape Town. Cape Town today is a world city with representatives of just about every group and creed you can possibly imagine. And every single one of these people unknowingly carries inside them a story of their ancient ancestors. That's because buried in the genes of each of us is an indelible record of our past. By studying DNA from people all over the world, geneticists are piecing together that ancient story. Cape Town, a product of its colonial past, has citizens who bring their own genetic stories from every corner of the planet. And the minute differences in their DNA provide clues about the ancient migrations that led our species to colonize the world. Thanks again, folks, for coming. This is the tree of humanity. Okay, in terms Geneticist Raj Ramasar has used these differences to help build a global family tree by tracing genes down the female line. Our modern genes are the branches of the tree, and geneticists have followed them back in time to find our ancient roots. The DNA of everyone alive today fits somewhere on this tree. Although it's not always obvious exactly where you fit. So, Stephen, what about you? Where do you think your maternal heritage stems from? Probably Southern Europe. Um, just the Italian community, that's where my family comes from. Well, actually, you are on a European branch, but you're on a European branch up here. And that's much more northern Europe. So I'm very sorry, Stephen, you're not Italian, you're a Laplander. <laughs> but follow the branches back to the beginning, and the tree reveals that ultimately we all have our roots in the same place. There's no question from the genetic data that is generated on the people here, as well as other studies that have been done, that humanity arose in Africa. And that's where the depth of this, this thick trunk illustrates where the majority of humanity can look for its roots. So because we originated in Africa, there's been more time for branches to develop here than there has been anywhere else. Yeah, that's a crucial point. Humanity has spent most of its life in Africa. I'm African. <laughs> yes, my cousin. We all are. Absolutely. It's only more recently that we see this aspect of the tree. But the really amazing thing is what the tree tells us about those who left Africa. You might expect lots of branches, lots of genetic lineages, leaving Africa at different times. But instead, the rest of the world connects back to Africa through one thin branch. What does that mean? There was a single branching out of Africa. It amounts to, historically, a single band of individuals leaving the African continent. So that was the original migration out of Africa that we can track with DNA. Uh, from there, there were branchings out in many different directions, into Europe, into the rest of Asia, Eurasia, to the north, and then down to Australia and Japan, and ultimately to the Americas on the other side. Geneticists across the world have come to the same conclusions. Everyone outside Africa descends from not many, but just one tiny group of pioneers. I just think it's absolutely remarkable. Isn't that amazing? It's, it's stunning. Yeah. Oh, wow. Man. <laughs> Maybe that others tried too, but their descendants have not survived. So the genetics tells us our species made just one successful attempt to leave, and this wasn't a mass exodus. It was a small group of people taking one route out of Africa. And everybody in the world today who isn't African is descended from that handful of people. It's just mind-boggling 
to think how different the world would be today if it weren't for that small group of pioneers. And it begs the next question, which route did they take?